I walked outside yesterday and two of my Ford Hook gems had started turning. I thought I would walk out here and watch them over the next few days turn a buff color and get more and more ready and then eventually kind of fall off the vine. Well, they pretty much did everything in 24 hours. This is what my Ford Hook gems have looked like for the last, <laughs> seems like month and a half. They've just been green with light green striping around the ribs and just doing next to nothing. And then all of a sudden, I came out here yesterday and a couple of them had kind of started looking like this. They were starting to knit up and everything. So I thought, well, that's just the beginning. They'll do this for another week or so, maybe a week and a half. And then, you know, I'll start kind of sensing that they're getting closer. Well, within what just seemed like 24 to 36 hours, they went straight to this. I guess this is ready. I'm gonna cut them and show you exactly what they look like on the inside. I've got my melon book right here. And that is what they show them looking like in the melon book. Now this just looks like a regular cantaloupe type situation where they're netted and they still have kind of light green stripes. And then obviously you still see the netting around this one but the inside is green with the yellow. And I think they're even supposed to have a little tinge of salmon color right around the edge of the cavity. Might not look like that, but they never did. They never netted up that much. They just kind of went to this. So I'm gonna cut it open and I'm gonna let you see the inside and we'll see what we've got. Well, this is what I've got when I cut them open doesn't really look like that. Boy, does that look gorgeous. Mine look like they were picked too early. However, I don't know if I mentioned a while ago, but I didn't actually pick these. When I went to check them and they had turned these colors, they fell off the vine. So there really wasn't a choice. I was harvesting Ford Hook Jim melons, whether I liked it or not. Monday evening, there was a very, very violent storm that came through here. It came through here in parts of Southern Mississippi, and it was a lot of wind and a lot of rain. I'm thinking that these melons probably just got rained on way too much right at the time they were supposed to ripen. And I'm hoping maybe that one that I, that I saw out there a while ago that had the netting starting on it, maybe it'll kind of keep on track and not fall off right now and kind of stay on track. And when I harvest it, maybe it'll look like the one in the picture there. But you know, looks aren't everything. I wanna see what it tastes like. It actually tastes just like cantaloupe. I really can't differentiate it between this and the orange cantaloupe that I ate a couple of days ago. It doesn't have a sweet, sweet, sweet taste though. And I think the Ford Hook Gem is supposed to. So it is probably harvested a little too early, though I really had no choice in the matter. But I can hope that um, the other ones hang in there. I don't know about the rain. It's a, we are on notice that we're supposed to have some severe weather in the next 24 hours. But they say that sometimes and things don't happen. So I don't know. I'm wondering about these seeds though. I may, just for the sake of seed saving, go ahead and keep these seeds. I know that ideally, I would wait for this melon to get to what I knew was really, really ripe, and maybe even let one of my melons go overripe and then harvest seeds. But these seeds are pretty good looking. There's a lot of them in there. And I'm just not going to throw them out just because it's not the exact ideal time. I forgot about all these in here, too. That's a lot of seeds. Um, in a food shortage situation, I think I'd rather have some seeds to take a chance on than to know I had thrown them out when I might could have been growing melons. But hopefully in the next few days, maybe, 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 I'll get one a little sweeter, a little more succulent, and it'll look like that. This is Lainey from Hilltop Home Place. Y'all keep your fingers crossed with me. Bye-bye.